Yo, this is how to set up Minecraft for speedrunning on a Mac. In this video, I will show you how to install the game correctly. That is Java, the launcher, mods, and so on. We will be looking at version 1.16.1 in particular, and we will be setting up a single instance. Everything shown in this video has been tested on a MacBook Pro with an M1 Pro chip and the latest macOS Ventura, which is 13.4 uh, at the time of this recording. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is install a tool called Homebrew. Uh, if you don't already have this, it's a uh, awesome uh, package manager for macOS. Grab this uh, one-liner command and open a terminal. Uh, I'm gonna be using iTerm, but you could use the uh, uh, built-in terminal app, doesn't matter. Uh, I will be using iTerm uh, and I paste this line and uh, I hit enter and it's going to install um, Homebrew for us. Uh, I have it installed already, so I'm not going to bother. Um, but uh, once I'm done, I will have this uh, brew command like this. The next thing that we will do is uh, install Java. There are many different JREs that you can install. Uh, we will be using the um, Zulu builds of OpenJDK. So we will um, look for Zulu and this is how you install it with brew. So you just get, get this command, go to your terminal, paste it and uh, hit enter and it will install this. It's obviously already installed for me. Uh, next we will install the uh, Prism launcher which is uh, very similar to uh, MultiMC. You can just download it from here. Uh, again, there is a Prism launcher uh, in the Homebrew repositories as well. The nice thing about the Prism launcher as opposed to MultiMC is that it runs natively on uh, M1 Macs, on, on Apple Silicon Macs. Uh, if you have an Intel Mac, uh, it, you, you might be fine using MultiMC. Now, uh, start Prism launcher. Uh, create a new instance. Uh, this instance, you can name it anything. And select the correct version, 116.1. Uh, you can select Fabric Mod Loader immediately. Okay, we will go now into the settings. And we will select Java. Um, I have allocated uh, 4 gigs of RAM. And you make sure to select the correct Java path here, in our case. Um, we will be using AutoDetect. Uh, this will show you the different uh, Java installations that can be found in your system. Uh, we will be selecting uh, Zulu. Next, we will customize these JVM arguments. In our case, we will be using this Z garbage collector. Uh, it's just optimized for uh, low latency apps like Minecraft. Um, you don't have to do this, but it's usually uh, just a little snappier. Uh, and now we can uh, run this instance. So uh, I have now disabled basically all of the things that uh, make this game playable. Um, the very first thing that I see is that the cursor is weirdly visible. So immediately the sensitivity uh, is crazy. Uh, so but that should be fixable if I put this to let's say 50. And also probably you want discrete scrolling. Okay, okay, the scrolling um, is inverted. So the next thing that you will notice is that um, mouse acceleration is on. It's hard to show that it's on, but you can trust me, it feels uh, weird. Uh, the next thing that you will probably notice is that you can just press F3. Uh, this happens, uh, and so you have to press Fn and F3. But that is that is obviously not ideal, and we will come back to that later. You can't shift and scroll, okay? If you're sneaking, you can't scroll anymore. The reason why it doesn't work is that uh, under macOS, shift scrolling is the same as horizontal scrolling, and uh, Minecraft uh, simply doesn't know what horizontal scrolling is. Um, the next thing that you will notice is, so I am um, I'm running right now, I'm holding control and I am clicking. So you might not hear this, but I am clicking, I'm trying to attack. Doesn't work, nothing happens. You can't really drop items properly. So while I can drop them individually with Q, uh, if I do control Q, 
nothing happens, I will still just drop a single item. The reason for that is that the command to drop the entire stack is actually command Q. So if you press now command Q, uh, it will just close Minecraft. The last thing that I want to show you has to do with chest looting. If shift scrolling doesn't work, well, what if I remap the sneak button to something else, let's say J. So J is now sneaking. So now if I sneak and scroll, it still works because J is not, doesn't have this special function of toggling the, uh, the scroll orientation. And there are tools to remap shift to a different button on the keyboard, which is allowed according to the uh, leaderboard rules, but you will run into a different issue now. Fast looting still uses shift, except your shift button is now something else and uh, you don't really get to remap that. As far as I know, in vanilla Minecraft is completely hard-coded. I will tell you later how you can actually fix that without remapping uh, sneak to, to a different button. Now that we know what types of issues we have with Minecraft on a vanilla macOS, uh, we will now fix these one by one. First thing we do is we go into system settings and we look for keyboard shortcuts and uh, let's start with disabling spotlight so you disable this the next thing that we want to do in the system settings is disable the shake mouse pointer to locate so you search for shake mouse and there it is it's under accessibility you disable shake mouse pointer to locate search for keyboard uh, shortcuts app shortcuts uh, and uh, so right now there's nothing you can press the plus and for a menu title you type in exactly this quit with a capital q space java and then as a keyboard shortcut uh, you can just pick anything that you will never press by accident uh, so i will do this next we will install a tool called linear mouse this is the tool. You can just download it and install it. It is also available as a brew formula. Uh, it doesn't matter if you install it like this or from the website. Uh, it might be, uh, it might show up on top here. You go into the settings. The first thing is disable pointer acceleration. And the second thing is under scrolling vertical scrolling you reverse the scrolling and uh, scrolling mode you can select by lines uh, and very importantly the modifier key shift you set this to change speed so by default it would be on no action you change to change speed and you leave it like this what happens is that the shift key loses the annoying vertical scrolling change into horizontal scrolling. You can also set this to start at login, but you don't have to. Just make sure it's running while you're playing Minecraft. The next thing that we're gonna look at is a tool called Carabina Elements. So you can just search that, Carabina Elements. You can download it from here. Again, there is a brew formula for Carabina called Carabina Elements. So Carabina Elements is, um, a tool that allows us to remap the keyboard keys. So what we will do first is go into profile, create a new profile that we call Minecraft, select that profile. So the UI is dog shit, select the profile Minecraft so that the uh, things that we, that we modify uh, get applied to this profile. You can later change between your default profile and the Minecraft profile uh, up here. Uh, next, you go to uh, devices and you can just select the keyboard. So in my case, it's a Keychron K2. You can just select this one and disable all the other ones. Uh, this just means that it will only affect your gaming keyboard and not the built-in keyboard. Now you go to simple modifications and you add uh, two modifications. Uh, the first one being uh, the modifier key left control gets mapped to left command and the left option key gets mapped to none. 
once again a thing that prevents accidentally leaving the game and the left control getting mapped to left command will help you drop a stack of items using the control key that you're used to. Next, you go to function keys. You make sure that uh, this is not selected. What we will do is we will remap all these F keys to their appropriate key, remap just the keys that we want and just keep uh, for example, the volume keys and the play pause key, which are F8, F11, F12. So we will keep these and remap all the other keys to the function keys that we want. All right, cool. Uh, so now that we have done this, uh, there are two more things that I would like to mention, which uh, may or may not be an issue for you. Uh, the first thing is the polling rate of the mouse. Uh, in my case, I have a Steel Series Sensei 10, um, and I have installed the um, the software that comes with it, and it allows me to set the polling rate of the mouse. I recommend lowering it as much as possible. Uh, 125 hertz is still plenty. Uh, you can try to 50, but I just recommend lowering it. Um, if you experience any issues, uh, there's a good chance that this just runs better or much smoother. The last thing I wanna talk about has to do with OBS. Uh, I have experienced very annoying crafting or menuing lag uh, while OBS is running in the background and recording my Minecraft window. So if you're using the macOS screen capture source, you should be using the display capture mode and not the application or window capture mode. So there you go. Um, if you don't have this issue, good for you, but uh, it was unplayable for me. So I have to do this. Uh, we will open the game again. We will set our controls. Uh, make sure to select the Minecraft profile now, options, controls, uh, and we have changed the sprint key. I will also reset the toggle full screen key to F10 because F11 is my volume key still. Uh, this is done, quit the game. We want to add uh, a bunch of mods. So uh, what I recommend is going to this website, which is the list of allowed mods for Minecraft speedrunning. And you just get the ones that you want. I have already done that and go into the settings for your instance edit there okay mods and then you open the folder and this is your mods folder uh, now i have already downloaded all these mods i'm just gonna copy them over as you can see they are loaded um, so again make sure just to get the correct mods uh, one thing i want to point out is there is a special version for sodium um, there is a version for Mac, here it is. So uh, I would suggest you get this one. Now we're good to go. Full screen. F3 works. Yeah, I can shift scroll. I can jump and attack I can drop the entire stack with control Q I can drop them individually entire stack that works one last thing that you might want to tweak is uh, going into the mod config folder uh, and editing the standard options.txt file and um, first of all set full screen to true and change the F6 key that resets to F7 or uh, any other key that you like. And then you can start the instance again and you should be able to uh, reset properly. So let's try it. World is loading, F7, uh, and that works. That is all that I've figured out so far. Uh, if this has been helpful or if I've missed something, please let me know in the comments. I hope more people will be able to speedrun Minecraft on a Mac. And I hope that Apple just fixes their shit in the future.
um, there is some reasonable hope that this will happen and that we will get a better uh, gaming experience on macOS. They have actually announced recently that they're building some kind of toolkit for porting Windows games to Mac. So that's kind of hype. Until then, this is the best that we can do right now. Now go beat your PB on a Mac. A bunch of files, it will basically download the game, uh, in my case. Press enter to enable the narrator. Oh my fucking god, I'm such a fucking idiot.